had an opportunity to meet J, J, JL. I had an opportunity to meet JL, uh, gosh, just yesterday. Am I right? No, it was last week. And then I went back today and said, I didn't do this part. And he goes, yes, you did. <laughs> uh, so, so he was right on and helped me find it within our video. But I have to tell you, the poise and presence of this young man is astounding. And you will be able to witness that uh, in this video. And I had a fabulous conversation with mom yesterday and, and just how incredibly impressed I am. And a part of this video that you're not going to see was it just a mini conversation at the end of our interview. And that was um, that he can truly envision himself in the future. And I will tell you that after just my brief 15, 20 minutes with him, I can picture it too. And I think you're going to see that today. I am a kid at Hope. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for the future, and I'll plan to reach those goals and dreams every day. I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited. I play football, so I'm really big on football. I've gone to national camps and things like of that such. I just was in LA this past weekend for a combine, and then I'm going to Vegas for a tournament. So, uh, and I'm going to Centennial High School in Peoria, which is a big football team, a big time football school. So I think I'm more. I'm a lot of excited about um, football, the sports aspect, and. I've heard uh, that Centennial has great academics up there, so I'm excited about that too. So I'm not necessarily worried. Some people are worried about high school. I don't feel that the same. I feel like it'll be just you know, a great experience. I'd say my mom is my biggest fan because she's my mom. My dad is probably next in line. <laughs> he doesn't really show it um, as much as my mom with the hugs and everything, but I understand he, he does a lot of things for me. Make sure is that make sure that I I'm going on the right path. So mm -hmm. I have to say my parents are the big spaces in my life. I'd say I don't know. I I think uh, I'm just really excited for the future. I'm excited for high school. I'm excited for what that happens after high school. Um, especially with sports, seeing going to national camps and things, seeing coaches being impressed. At such a young age, um, it creates a lot of excitement in me to see that people are watching what I'm doing and asking of my grades. I tell them I get straight A's, they're even more amazed, and that's most important. And um, to see that my name might be around the nation already, I might not know it, but it just might be. Um, <laughs> it's pretty nice to see that, that hard work pays off. To see that yes. And even family in general. Um, my dad's even my dad. He's a barber. I go to the barber shop, and even the clients know my name. They be coming to see me play my games and everything. It's it's really exciting. Um, my grandparents, family back in Iowa. We were, I was born in Sioux City, Iowa, a little tiny town up in the <laughs> northeastern part of Iowa. Um, but. Now we're all spread out now. My grandparents moved down here and they live in Mesa. Um, and we see them often. They're very supportive as well. So everything is great. Everything is, is fun. Life is amazing. <laughs> Life is amazing. So I'm very thankful to have what I have. So. Uh, in the off season, I trained with the, with the Marte Jenkins. He used to play with the Arizona Cardinals and the Atlanta Falcons. Um, I'd say he, he's the one that pushed me with the most with that kind of stuff, with sports and anything else that's academic. So um, he always makes sure that I'm trying my best, you know. And I, I'm, I'm glad because it pushes me and it makes me want to be the best I can be. And my dad is the same way, so it I feel it's, it's a really good thing, you know. Something as simple as doing a workout if I'm, you know, slacking, go pick it up, you know, I have to do more or something like that. Something simple like that. But it gets it, I you know, I get the point, you know. So I feel the embracing environment. I am JL. I go to Cup School. 
I'm in the eighth grade and I'm a kid that old. Certainly his parents who are here, his grandparents who are here, are, are very important to them. But he also shared one of his coaches that, that has been a part of his life for quite a bit. And uh, we reached out and asked him to say a few words to you. So if you'd like to listen to Marte Jenkins, I believe? Okay. Yeah, what's going on, buddy? I just want to say congratulations on your Student of the Year Award. It's a well-deserved award. And you really know what it takes to be a student athlete with student being the first word. I just say your hard work and dedication it shows on and off the field. And I just want to let you know how proud I am of you. Keep up the good work, keep working hard, and keep striving. And uh, don't you got some work to be doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 